Hey guys, today I want to tell you about my Millard Trifold mattress I purchased for my hiker trailer. So it's 4 inches of dense foam on the bottom and 2 inches of memory foam on the top. 6 inches total. The interior of our 5x9 hiker is 58.5 by 80 inches. The queen size Millard will fit it exactly. So you can see here in the video, it just sticks out past the door, so we had to trim it up a bit. So that's what this video is about, showing you how we trimmed it. So we first started by taking off the zippered cover on the outside. Then the next thing we did was take a scissors and cut open the side of each mattress section. We just left one side open so we could pull this kind of cheesecloth material off and slide out the memory foam so we could put it back into it when we were done. So we started out with trying to measure the interior and trying to decide how much material were we going to take off the memory foam. We opted to start out with about an inch and we found out that an inch was just a little bit too snug yet. So it ended up being more about inch and a half. Inch and a half seemed to be just perfect. So doing a little research we found that an electric knife, bread knife, fillet knife, whatever you want to call it, works really well for cutting the memory foam. It gives it a nice clean cut. So we started out making our measurements, lined it up on a 2x4 and tried to run that across. Yeah, it worked, but uh, definitely, I think freehanding is, would work just as easy. It didn't seem to uh, cut it any cleaner than when we just freehand it. So if you guys got any more suggestions on a better way to cut this, throw it down in the comments. I'm just showing you how we did it. So as you can see, it wasn't the cleanest cut with having the 2x4. Um, it's a little janky and the edges were a little rough, but it didn't matter. Pull the cheesecloth type material back, tuck it around, and we'll put it inside the trailer to kind of give it a little bit of a measurement to see if it would work. So we put the first section in there and laid it down, and you could see it went end to end without a problem. It was not a problem. It gave us a little bit of slack. That way, with a trifold design, we can fold up the ends and be able to tuck our sheets. We took our sheets and we actually made fitted sheets for this mattress. So we actually sewn the elastic on and had a fitted end so it was easier to tuck on. And as you can see, pulling up the mattress, you don't want it to snag on your window. There's the window catch, so when we had it tucked in around three quarters to an inch the first time around, we noticed that we were catching on the windows when we were trying to pull it up. So once we found our formula of doing about an inch and a half, um, we just made our marks and we found that freehanding just worked the best. You can kind of hold the material once you get through it and cut it off. What we ended up doing was saving our scraps. Now the scrap material we put in the back galley and put it in between appliances. So between stove and grill and so on for things clanking around moving around kind of gave it a little cushion. Why not? Got that extra foam why not use it? So once we got all three pieces cut, all we had to do is tuck it back in its cheesecloth material. No, we did not sew the ends of the cheesecloth material shut again. We just left it open. It didn't really matter because you've got this zippered kind of bag that each mattress section goes into. So the last thing to do was to do a final test fit. We put it all in there and take a look at how the doors would close. We wanted to make sure we had plenty of um, space between the door and the mattress. So as you can see here it came out perfectly gives us plenty of room. Now if you had screens you got to remember you're gonna have to cut this a little bit more. The people that have screens we've read in the hiker forms that um, they tend to have to cut it back just a little bit more to get the screen door to close. You can see there's a little bit maybe of that material having a little bit of a um, space or gap in there but you do not notice it at all, especially once you put your sheets and your bedding and everything back on. You don't even notice that you took that amount of space off. If you guys want to know any more about the fitted sheets or how we did the, the bedding or the setup, just let me know. Drop it down in the comments. Like, share, and subscribe to this video. i got a lot more hiker videos to come as we kind of dissect how we've set up our trailer and the different things we've added and modified. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you on the next one.